On this episode, I had even more fun of TNT. I built TNT machines that can completely obliterate the entire Minecraft world. I also uncovered some ancient debris in the nether, and lastly built myself a TNT sniper rifle or a railgun. And this machine was capable of carving out entire ravines. All of these machines were pretty insane. And trust me, the big project is coming next episode. I just wanted to have some more fun of TNT. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new, and hope you guys enjoy episode 26. To build these TNT cannons, obviously, I'm going to need some gunpowder to make some TNT. And luckily, I've been AFK for a pretty long time, and I got a lot of gunpowder. I'm just running out of sand again. I do have a lot in my chest, though, so let's just steal that since I have so much glass. And let's turn all of this into TNT. Let's play the same game as the other episode. How much TNT do you think I could craft with all of these materials? Draw some guesses in the comments, and I'll heart your comment if you guess it right. But let's start crafting all of this into TNT. And I just ran out of sand. This is all the TNT that I got so far and i'm not even close to being done i think i still have basically half a double chest of gunpowder and it's still coming so let's take my trusty shovel and let's head over to the desert to grab some even more sand and start destroying this desert we gotta catch up the wadzi guys episode by episode let's start destroying this place And there is an entire inventory of sand. And I think I have a very smart way to catch up to Wadzi and his destruction of his desert coming up later in the video. It's gonna be awesome. And there we go. That should be enough to deal with all of this gunpowder I have in here because it's pretty much the same. And let's continue crafting up some TNT. I love TNT, man. I just love blowing things up. I feel like an eight year old that just downloaded Minecraft and discovered TNT and you just blow up the entire world. But this is all the resources I have left. And there we go. And now I have more than half a double chest of TNT. I a little bit more than last time and i'm gonna be building a giant tnt cannon in this episode just for the fun of it i know you guys are complaining that i should be using this tnt to go find some netherite or some diamonds or make some tnt duping systems but like come on that's no fun it's way more fun building tnt cannons and blowing up the minecraft world so let's grab some dispensers some comparators rest some repeaters and all the good stuff that i need oh yeah i'm excited to blow up the world again let's hop on this boat and, oh, I just ran my head into my dock. Let me just uh, back up. Beep, 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 beep. And let's head over to the desert and destroy it to catch up the Wadzi. Yo, what is that? I bought it across there like a hundred times to get sand and I never noticed this. There are underground like desert ruined temples or whatever in the water like i didn't even know this existed in minecraft i thought it was only like stone brick ones this is crazy oh there's a chest over here yo would there be more tnt in here and, bruh that is the most garbage i've ever seen okay oh hello drowns let me just sneak by you here oh there's another chest here let's see what is in this guy and even more garbage Blech. yeah you you keep that stuff i don't need your oh here we go here we go this is the good stuff this oh bear treasure map i'll take it let's go on a treasure hunt destroying the earth can wait that's quickly steal from the earth i'm at the bottom right corner and i think going up is north and the treasure is located on a little island let's go okay this is north and i do see a couple of islands here and it might oh yeah i'm getting close bum 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 oh we are revealing the treasure oh it looks like this is the island right here if i'm not mistaken it seems like this is the island and yep we're right on top of the x all right and it should be down here somewhere okay let's head back and the x is i'm right above the x so let's start digging let's see what's in this buried treasure here oh i found it let's go okay let's see what they were hiding in this treasure chest and oh i got heart of the sea boys that must be super rare right come on please tell me it's rare i just want a few special guys come on please oh tnt that's exactly what i need and oh this is garbage oh yo okay i guess i'm stealing his loot um i'm sorry but i'm just gonna borrow your uh your heart of the sea i put it to good use don't worry and might as well steal his fish too because like come on free fish like who wouldn't eat free fish it's probably rotten and moldy but uh hey i'll eat whatever's in my hand but that was a fun little exploration let's throw this map away for somebody else to find and let's head back to the desert and return back to earth destruction mode all right we are finally here and let me show you what i was talking about this is the only way i can catch up the wadzi and his destruction let's just find a good spot to do this because this is gonna be pretty crazy or right, on top of this hill seems like a pretty good area because i could get a nice view of the land let's start building this tnt cannon and this is gonna be insane so this is how you guys build it it's super simple all you have to do is build out a little platform like this grab your dispenser with three dispensers like this and then two facing in and then slabs right here slap down a bucket of water in the middle put a block on top of this dispenser and then put dispensers on top like this and basically you're done i'm just gonna build up these walls and now for the redstone part all you gotta do is place redstone like this connect it here and this will 
<laughs> now put down a wrestle comparator facing this way. Wrestle and dust like this. Flip it so the light is on. And take a lever, which I do not have. Nice. I did not plan this through. All right. I got one. Slap it down right behind this comparator. Turn it on. And you'll see that it keeps repeating the signal. And it'll shoot all this TNT in the water. And all you gotta do now is fill up all these dispensers with some TNT. I'm gonna put 32 into every single one of these. And it's gonna drain out like crazy. All right. Are you guys ready for this insane destruction? I'm praying it works. This is gonna be insane. Let's do a little test. So let's flip this and stop it. And TNT should be shooting into the water. Oh, okay. It's working. Did every single one shoot out TNT? And yes, it's a moment of truth, guys. Okay, let's flip this. It's gonna shoot out TNT. And then I'm gonna put a uh, redstone thing here. And here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at all that TNT. No freaking way. I already shot out all the TNT in the dispensers. It didn't do that much damage though because I built it a little too high, but it was literally raining TNT. Okay, let's do this again, but build it closer to the ground. That was insane. All right, we got it almost built. I love how simple it is too for the amount of damage it can do, but let's fill it up with TNT now. Let's put a stack in every single one of these and just destroy this place. I feel so bad for destroying the earth. Please don't do it, guys. But this is so worth it right now. Let's put some blocks right here just in case. And let's get it started. Let's flip the lever and then put redstone here and take a run. And let's take a look. Yes. Oh, look at all that TNT. Oh, my God. Look at it. Oh, my God. Let's take a look at the destruction. Yo. Yo. Oh, we just we mined into a mob spawner. Oh, my God. This is insane. We just uncovered so much land holy cow that little thing did this much damage and that was only a stack of tnt imagine if we put like three stacks in every single one we would literally hit bedrock all right well that was so much fun let's remove this and move on to the next tnt cannon it only gets even more crazy from here this is just the start well needless to say i think i destroyed a lot of this desert let's just uh, collect all this sand because you know might as well i could use this sand to make even more tnt all right we're back home and there's a creeper guarding the little gun powder chest over there i think he sniffs out his brothers and sisters in that chest he might want them back i'm sorry i gotta add you to the collection let's kill him go 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 and yeet. all right two gunpowder and back into the chest you go with your family and now let's restock on some tnt but since i just built a huge mass destruction tnt cannon let's now build something more accurate and even better let's build a sniper rifle or a rail gun that can shoot tnt over a thousand blocks all we gotta do is find the perfect place to build this thing all right, I ran back into this giant desert that's behind my home. And I think this might be the perfect place to build this sniper rifle TNT cannon thing. Let me just run across this entire desert and make sure it's over a thousand blocks long. And this is the most running I'm ever going to do in my life. All right, it's been over a thousand blocks and we're right beside my giant cactus that I found that naturally spawned in the desert. Like, trust me, it, it naturally spawned there and it keeps going all the way over there to the plains bomb. So I think we're good on size. That's what she said. Well, let's run back and start constructing this giant rail gun. This is gonna be so insane. So let's clear out a huge flat area for this guy. I'm sure it's gonna take up a lot of space. All right, I think this is a good enough size for this. Now let's start construction. Oh, the sun is setting. Never mind. Let's go find a bed in this village. Yo, you guys got a bed for me to steal? Hello? Okay, this guy is poor. He doesn't even have a bed. Yo, let me sleep here. Oh, bruh. Oh, hello, sir. Let me just uh, go back in here. I'm scared of him and sleep. All right, first things first, let's place down the dispensers. And this one requires a lot of dispensers. So it goes three up and then six this way. Oh, that is a lot of dispensers. I don't think I even have enough TNT for this. I might have to do some more AFK at the farm, but this is all the dispensers I'm going to need. Oh, I might not even have enough, to be honest. And there we go. That's all the dispensers to make the TNT that I will shoot the TNT here off, if that makes sense. But over here, I need even more dispensers. So let's head back home and grab some more. All right, I'm finally back. Now let's make a little separator right here. And then two blocks like this. And even more dispensers up here on either side. And this is the TNT that will actually be shot out thousands of blocks that way. Just like that. And now starting from here, let's add 13 slabs this way. And some blocks right beside it so it looks like a railgun. And it guides the TNT in the right direction. And up here as well. 
middle and another row at the very top so it shoots the tnt completely straight now that this is complete let's start working on the redstone to connect all of these dispensers up so let's add some blocks on the bottom here beside these dispensers on either side like this and on top of all of these blocks i'm gonna add some repeaters facing into the dispensers which will activate all of them now simply connect them all up here just like this and now let's add another row right behind these repeaters but leave a little gap like this and connect it over to these repeaters and now carry the rest on line and add seven repeaters on these blocks once you got that put a rest on dust down and then your rest on comparator like this make sure you flip it so the light is on connect it up with rest on like this and then connect it to the repeaters and do the same exact thing on the other side once you have it built on both sides make sure you right click all of these to four ticks every single one and once you have everything built out you also gotta connect these top dispensers so build out a little square up here a block up like this and redstone some redstone repeaters facing the dispenser and redstone dust and do the same thing on this side so bop Bop, bop, bop. block here rest on dust up and then two repeaters and everything should be connected now and lastly the final step should be adding water inside these dispensers all the way down like this and make sure they're all flat so each single block is a water source block and once you have that it should be completely built out and working i have never tested this yet and i haven't built it in single player so this might be a really bad mistake and this might blow up the entire thing so i'm kind of nervous but if it works this is going to be insane and lastly let's fill up every single dispenser with a stack of tnt i don't think i have enough so i might have to afk for a bit to get some more tnt but this is gonna be insane and i just ran out well let's head back and craft some more tnt yeah i only had two extra stacks of tnt in my chests but let's do a couple hours of afk for gunpowder i'll be right back a quick snack break actually a long snack break this time grab a meal and i'll be right back All right, we are back on day two, and I got myself all the TNT I need, hopefully, at least. So where did it end off at? Right here. Okay, let's start chucking all this TNT into these dispensers. You guys know exactly what I said, right? <laughs> all right, I had to make a couple of trips. All of these dispensers are loaded up with TNT, and now is the moment of truth. Let's take my stone button, place it down right here, and I've never tested this ever before or even tried building this in a single-player world, so this could go horribly wrong. Let's click the button i'm actually super scared oh, okay this is gonna be scary okay let's click it go 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 okay okay shoot it oh my god okay oh my god oh my god that sand went flying holy cow that did a lot of damage oh my god it even went all the way over here how much tnt shot out of that thing oh my god it keeps going hold on how far does this go there's no chance it's over this mountain right there's no way it shot over this thing and yeah i think it didn't but holy cow that did a lot of damage it didn't go that far though but we'll test it again once it's daytime let's quickly go to bed all right that was pretty insane it actually shot out how many pieces of tnt it shot out five pieces of tnt each so since there's 12 dispensers right here times five according to my math 12 times five that's uh carry the two bring the one times the six that is 60 pieces of tnt that shot out of here quick moths but let's do that again that was insane let's right click this and let's take a look how far will it go okay it's shooting out oh oh my god oh my god okay it's not shooting super far right now but it's doing a crazy amount of damage it's carving out its own ravine this is actually insane let's try this again right click that i want to see it shoot like a thousand blocks come on oh my god it just lines it up with tnt that is insane i'm not sure why it isn't shooting over a thousand blocks though come on oh it keeps oh my okay this one went a little further okay went all the way over there oh my god that car oh <laughs> look at the destruction here oh my god it's carving out an entire ravine this is actually bonkers that is i've never said that before but wow i mean this was a desert oh my god that little thing is literally destroying this entire planet okay we're slowly carving through the earth though we finally reached all the way over here but i thought it would shoot like at least 500 blocks that way but let's keep shooting this rail gun because this is so much fun i love seeing the tnt just shoot and spray out it, holy cow it literally never gets old oh my god okay let's keep right clicking this until we like carve through the entire thing
Yeah, I'm having way too much fun with this railgun TNT cannon. We're already mining out a man-made ravine in Minecraft. This is insane. What if I stand in front of it, though? I was, I've been thinking, would it kill me if I stand right here? Let's, oh, okay, let's try this again. I just want to see the view of it going right above my head. So let's quickly go, 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 go. And let's stand here. Oh, okay. That was kind of scary. But I think I just ran out of TNT. I think that was my last shot. And yeah, we are completely out. But let's go take a look at the damage. Oh my God, this is so deep. It goes so deep. That's what she said. That little rail gun can do a lot of damage. Oh my God, we're starting a whole cave over here. What is happening here? Did the TNT do this or did it lead into a cave? Oh my God, I think this is all the TNT. Okay, no, never mind. I think this is a cave now. It has to be, right? It looks like it. But oh. Oh, oh my, it mined right into another ravine. For a second, I thought it did this as well. Okay, so it seems like the furthest it went was all the way over here, which is at least like 200 blocks, right? It has to be. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. And you know what? I'm going to leave this here for memory because like, come on, this is something to remember. But I do have a lot of TNT left, so I'm going to take all this back and do something else with it. Something that you guys have all been asking me for ever since I started this entire series. We finally made it home with all the TNT and let's head over to the nether i think you guys know what this means let's go mine for some nether right but you guys should know that i'm not doing this the regular way no this this is a cookie god video we have to make it more fun and more enjoyable and just something to laugh at so let's just uh jump down here let's uh spider-man climb down this wall and let's build another tnt contraption i just gotta find the right spot and i think this is a dead end nice I love my life. Why is there always a ghast guard in my nether portal? Why? At least he doesn't see me. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's go find a good spot to build this TNT cannon. It's really flat right here. And I think I'm going to point the TNT that way because there is a giant pool of lava and it probably goes underground a little bit. Since I'm a geologist, I know my uh, nether formations. So I'm going to shoot the TNT this way. And this might suck because TNT can't really blow through lava. So it might be a a little difficult but let's see how much ancient debris i can get from this little method of mining so let's do the same exact design that i built earlier but so effective and oh i can't put water bruh my brain is so small what do i do is it still possible without water i don't think it is no i'm so stupid my brain is literally a raisin oh my god you can't put water in the nether well i'm gonna go cry in the corner <laughs> i'll see you guys later Okay, I thought of a little workaround. It isn't as cool as the spraying TNT everywhere, but it will still be able to mine for some ancient debris. And it'll be a little... Oh, my... <laughs> loser oh okay never mind i'm the loser okay please go away man just let me let me build my tnt cannon please i beg you all right fine i guess you're gonna have to die by your own ghast loser hey i got an enchantment hey return to the sender all right what i'm gonna do is build like 10 to 15 blocks high like this and then build an eight by eight square all right now that you have that just jump down here Ugh. break this and put a dispenser in each corner so one over there one over here and the same thing on those two corners. Once you have this, take some redstone dust. Oh, should I grab some more? But line it all the way up around. And I'm going to quickly go grab some more. Yeet! Ugh. Okay, we are finally back. Let's line it up with some redstone like this. And it's pretty simple. All you got to do is bridge out a little. Make a little platform here. Connect it with redstone. Get a redstone comparator. Slap it down. Turn it on so the torch is on. Make this. And put the lever down right here. And now we'll be able to shoot a bunch of TNT. And all you got to do is fill all these dispensers up with a lot of tnt and we're gonna mine straight down into the nether hopefully we don't land into a pocket of lava and i know i could do it the traditional way to get some ancient debris by mining a mine shaft and then using flint and steel but that's so boring this is way more fun and the only thing we know is fun in these a uh, cookie god videos so we have to do it let's light it up oh that one isn't reaching it no okay but let's see what happens oh no Ooh. Did it blow my dispensers? It did not. That was so close, but it didn't reach this one over here. So let's grab a redstone repeater and just do this. Okay, that should work. Let's try again. And there we go. I just want to go a little deep so the TNT doesn't shoot up and hit me. Okay, there's a lot of lava though. This might not work out as planned, but let's just let's just keep it running. Let's see how far we could go. Okay, we go all the way down. Oh my god, that's a lot of TNT. It's raining TNT. Okay, this might have been a bad idea. There's way too much lava. It's just covering all the explosions up well that didn't work but that was fun 
<laughs> that's a lot more lava than I expected. It would be so much fun if I built like a stealth bomber in the sky and built one of these TNT droppers. That would be so sick. But let's remove all this TNT and come up with a better idea. Oh, wait. We actually found ancient debris. Yo, we were successful after all. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. Yo, I'll take it. Let's go. Ugh, of ancient debris in this hardcore world, guys. This is the biggest moment in this entire series. We have ancient debris. Is it only one piece? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, at least we got one piece of ancient debris. Let's mine it. And bam. Hold up. I didn't get an advancement. Did I mine ancient debris before? I don't quite remember. Does anybody remember? Have I mined ancient debris before? Hold up. Hold up. Why didn't I get an advancement? Maybe I did. Or I accidentally collected some. All right. I'm back at my base and let's check it. I do have ancient debris. What? When did I get this? Okay. I thought something totally glitched out. I swear I haven't got ancient debris before, but I do have one here. So that actually isn't my first ancient debris. Well, that was the biggest waste of time. I just ran like 500 blocks back. I need to run all the way. Why? Why? Yeah, die by your own fireball, you monkey. Literally every single time I go to the nether, there's a gas waiting for me. It's so annoying. But let's head back over here and grab this ancient debris. Yes, my second piece. But I'll save all the netherite hunting for another day. That would be for another video to get myself a netherite beacon. Okay, maybe maybe not that great. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, what? That was so laggy. What? Uh, water, 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 water. Yeah. Uh, a burnt cookie right there. But let me know in the comments if you guys want me to get a netherite beacon because uh, that will probably take me ages, literally ages. I might be like 40 years old with three kids by the time I get another right beacon. And I just came up with a great idea. I have a plan for my giant sniper TNT cannon. I just need some lime stained wool. So let's combine green with white, which makes lime. There we go. I need a bunch of these and some wool, which I'm running low on. That shouldn't be a problem. Because oh, oh, I thought that was my sheep. I was like, how did you escape? But I have a whole sheep farm over here. So let's go shear these boys up. E e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e what are they doing just crowding around this window like these guys really want to meet that horse in there and there we go exactly the right amount of wool let's turn some of these into lime wool i need some white and i need some black wool and i need an ink stack for that so is there any squids around there are some over there so let's take my looting three sword and kill those squids for their juicy ink sacks <laughs> come here squids yeah give me those sacks all right and you can probably tell what i'm building with these three colors if you guys can't you guys are uh, not cultured enough to be watching minecraft and if you guys haven't guessed already, I'll be building a dream face right over here in front of the TNT cannon. Because why not? I don't hate dream. I love dream. But I think it'll be funny to blow up his face. So let's build his face right here. All right, we got the dream head built and we got the gun aimed at his head. I mean, there's nowhere else to aim because dream only because dream skin, you can only see his face. But we're all loaded up with TNT and uh, yeah, let's blow this boy up. Even though I love dream, it's time to say goodbye. Right click this and let's kill dream. Okay. Oh, there goes all the TNT. Oh, <laughs> we just blew his mouth and the side of his head. He kind of looks like a Pac-Man now, like one of those little blobs that you eat or something or the blobs that chase you. But there goes dream. To be honest, I thought it'd be a bigger explosion, but hey, it feels good to blow off his face because he's so good at YouTube. But let's blow his face up again. It's probably going to miss, though. All right, let's get first person view. And we just missed because it goes down. Oh, oh, okay, that one came really close to the rail gun. Okay, I got to be really careful, but well, dream face no more. Oh, we got remains of his face right there. Let's go collect it up for some memory. But before we end this, I want to build an even bigger cannon because this one's kind of small. It is super powerful, but I want to build one that touches like the sky, like all the way up there. So the shooting power will be even stronger. So let's grab all of my TNT and go back home for some more dispensers and all my resources. But I'm sorry, guys. This was a pretty short video, but I promise you the next video is the big project. I had to delay it a little bit because I thought it would be a great idea to build those Minecraft live mobs. And it was super fun. So if you guys haven't watched the last episode, go check it out. But these TNT cannons were so much fun and blowing up Dream's head even better. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.